Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining us for our second tutorial. Uh, today we will explain how to download line-by-line -line data in Hytran, uh, how to select uh, molecules and isotopal logs you want in the desired spectral ranges, uh, and um, some meaning of the parameters that you have downloaded. I'll start with the definitions. So on this page uh, we explain the major parameters in uh, Hytran, and uh, in this tutorial we'll start with the parameters that are given in a traditional Hytran format, which was uh, used uh, from Hytran 2004 up to uh, Hytran 2016, and only in Hytran 2016 we introduced some parameters beyond that, and that will be a topic for next tutorial, but right now we'll explain what are the uh, spectral parameters in a standard Hytran format uh, signify. Uh, so the spectral uh, line it corresponds to the transition of a molecule from one energy level to another and the difference between uh, these energy levels, so the uh, energy difference is uh, in fact the line position. And in Hytran we provide a vacuum line position and uh, when a molecule is uh, in a ambient uh, air or another gas, uh, it uh, collides with uh, uh, molecules of that other gas or with um, uh, molecules uh, of the same gas, uh, and um, the line position uh, is shifted with respect to the vacuum line position. And we do provide the shift by air, so basically a shift due to collisions with um, molecules of oxygen and nitrogen are given in a standard hydron format and um, you have to know that this effect is different from the light refraction so these are shifts due to collisions with ambient molecules uh, now the effective line positions then would, of course would become uh, a sum of uh, a line position and the uh, shift provided in the hydron database now uh, also due to the collisions uh, with uh, uh, ambient uh, gases the line broadens, so it's, uh, this effect called pressure broadening, and uh, therefore it's not stick, but uh, uh, in this case Lorentzian shape, uh, so the pressure broadening uh, can be described by Lorentzian, and we provide a value which is a uh, half width at half maximum, uh, and um, uh, this value is given at 296 Kelvin, uh, so the standard hydron temperature is 296 Kelvin. Uh, and uh, we provide, in a standard hydron format, we provide uh, this uh, value gamma, uh, the half width at half maximum for air and uh, self-broadening. The shaded area under the curve is called intensity of the line. It is also provided in hydron at 296 Kelvin. The good news is that uh, all of these parameters uh, can be converted to uh, other temperatures. Uh, in particular, uh, we do um, provide uh, formulas how to convert intensity from one temperature to another. They're all given on this uh, um, uh, link. The, um, we also provide the values that is uh, related to the uh, line intensity. It's called the einstein coefficient, and uh, it's uh, more unique in many senses than intensity, uh, and for instance, um, uh, you can use it for non-local uh, thermal equilibrium environments, whereas uh, intensity in hydrogen is uh, derived assuming local thermal equilibrium. Uh, we provide a very important uh, value, which is a lower state energy of the transition, and this value is important when you convert intensity from one temperature to another. Uh, we provide the temperature dependence uh, of uh, the half widths, and these are uh, basically exponents in the power law. We also provide uh, upper and lower statistical weights, which are also important in calculations of different spectroscopic quantities. Now let's see if we can download some of these parameters. Uh, we go to the line-by-line -line, uh, section. 
here's the list uh, of uh, all the molecules we have in the line by line section there are 49 molecules the important uh, part to highlight here is that the uh, molecules uh, number 30 35 and 42 which are sulfur hexafluoride chlorine nitrate and carbon tetrafluoride these are very large files uh, which are also not complete to uh, simulate spectra even at room temperatures uh, perfectly. Therefore, we do not provide it in a, a relational database structure, but also static ASCII files that are provided in, uh, in the FTP server. Now, uh, let's select some molecules. So if you do click on a plus sign here, uh, you will see the information of the spectral ranges uh, that uh, we have um, lines for certain molecules, the minimum and maximum intensity, and uh, there is something that is just, uh, uh, very convenient. This is an overview spectrum. I use water as an example here, so there is a log plot, so you can see where the water uh, absorbs. Now, uh, you have to be mindful that uh, here we provide all isotopologues, uh, so we don't have an overview plot for individual isotopologues. Right now I'm going to show you an example of selecting uh, lines from uh, water vapor, carbon dioxide and acetylene in a wave number region that corresponds to the telecommunication lasers. This is a popular um, uh, sensing uh, range and um, I will show you how to do it. So the I selected water, uh, CO2, and acetylene. Now, uh, in the next page, you will be selecting isotopologues of uh, each of these molecules. And uh, there is one important thing that sometimes people miss, that if one requests uh, the lines in a traditional hydrogen format, which we call dot par, uh, line, uh, the 11s and 12s isotopologues of uh, CO2 are uh, marked by, um, are labeled with uh, A and B instead of 11 and 12. This is because in this um, traditional ASCII format, we've been allowing only one uh, digit uh, per isotopologue. Uh, so this is important to be, to remember because it can potentially crash your code. Uh, so le le let's take a look on overview of isotopologues of all the three molecules. We don't need uh, all of them uh, to look at, so we will select uh, water vapor, just principal isotopologue, uh, CO2, let's select the principal isotopologue and those, for instance, isotopologues uh, 11 and 12, and uh, we can select all isotopologues of acetylene. Now we are given an option of selecting wave number range. Uh, so as I told you, we'll be looking in a range of uh, telecommunication lasers. So let's say we will look for uh, in a 6,320 wave numbers to 6,335 wave numbers. On the next page, you are given an option to choose a format and uh, when you first signed into the database, only this format that we'll be discussing today will be available, the traditional .par 160 characters format. The explanation of this format is also given here in this table. Now uh, we can start data search. So when you select less than 100,000 transitions, you will see the overview plot uh, of uh, these isotopologues that you selected. And you can see that apparently in the range I selected and from isotopologues I selected only uh, the principal isotopologue of water vapor, the principal isotopologue of CO2, and the principal isotopologue of uh, acetylene uh, absorb. And uh, you can see that the CO2 is the strongest here and acetylene lines you can see here as well, and uh, apparently water vapor is quite weak in this particular spectral region. Now, if you selected less than a thousand lines, you 
get this nice HTML table, which uh, shows uh, not in a letter coding, but explicitly, which has a topologues the lines correspond to. Uh, and um, they have some basic parameters. And there is a neat uh, function that if you hover your mouse over the parameters, you can actually see what reference they're coming from. And if you uh, want to read the original uh, reference, you can go to the uh, site of the publisher and uh, read about this reference. And every parameter in Hytron uh, is um, given a reference um, uh, index uh, that you can follow the reference. And uh, also we do provide the links to the uh, Astrophysical Data System database, uh, which is a uh, database of scientific literature and you can also uh, follow to your uh, link there apart from the publisher site so this is a very a nice feature however uh, if you do want the traditional dot par output we uh, provide it here so uh, if the size of the file is not uh, too big you can look at, the f uh, at it at the browser so uh, you can see that this output is in a traditional Hytron format, just like we asked it. And uh, I will quickly show you uh, where the uh, different parameters are in this file. Mm -hmm.